Alright, so this is another decode video, and this is actually an update on the decode video and post that I did on the death of Capital Steez and his uh, ritualistic um, numeric connections to Jesus Christ. Um, and I have some organic uh, connections to present as well. I went back and I found some new things i made some more connections um you know as i'm you know evolving and continuing to get better with gematria and see see more you know just um see more patterns and i can just connect the dots better and make more connections you know i revisited this um his death um and this post and added on to it so this is just an update video on on uh him so let's just get into it so i'm going to start from around the middle i mean as you guys can see i added a lot to it but um let's see we're going to start here all right so so just to recap his last tweet um he put out was on December 23rd, 2012, and that date has numerology of 67 as 12 plus 23 plus 20 plus 12 equals 67, right? Um, and specifically, the, tr the tweet read the end. If you guys haven't watched my first video on Capital Steez's death and decode on it, um, you can either watch the video or visit this post. Um, doesn't really matter or both. But uh, yeah, it's all there for you guys to know. So, um, but yeah, so his last tweet, um, the date of his last tweet has numerology of 67, and that's important because blood sacrifice, human sacrifice, sacrificed crucifixion all equal 67 in gematria in the four base ciphers remember i just for the most part you know 95 percent of the time more than that i'm you know i'm i'm using the base ciphers the four base ciphers it gives you when you open the gematria calculator right i go I, you know i use the jewish calculator or the jewish cipher to only show really how death and homicide equal 118 but i mean besides that i'm literally only using the four base ciphers that's it so and for some more 67 connections um it's believed that and this is where i started adding here it's believed that three stakes were or nails but i you can say stakes because you know they're bigger it's believed that three stakes were used to crucify jesus and the term three stakes equals 67 and you see how this connects to christ obviously and the day pro era released their peep the apocalypse mixtape was on december 21st 2012 and that date written just how it is on the screen in gematria equals 67 and you know or actually i'll get to that later but anyways just gonna go ahead and say that's three days before steez's death so you might already can make that connection but i'll get to it later anyways the prime number of 67 you know all those 67 connections not only do they connect to jesus you know they connect to jesus but they connect to his age right the prime number of 67 is 19, and capital Steez died at 19 years old. <laughs> and you could also say he died in his 20th year of life, and that's important because cross in the most pure cipher, the full reduction cipher, equals 20. And a cross looks like what letter? A lowercase t, right? And t is the 20th letter in the alphabet. Um, and R.I.P., the term's R.I.P., Rest in peace, right? And death, both equal 20. Um, 
not this, you know, this stuff isn't an accident. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, um, when I get, I'll make it clear when I get to the organic, uh, what I believe to be organic gematria. But anyways, um, Steez's last tweet reads the end, like I said, and the end has gematria of 106. Prophecy has gematria of 106. He was black, black equals 106, and black Christ. The term Black Christ equals 106. Um, something I also, I added up here actually. Black Christ also equals 74, and we know how big 74 is. You know, it fits in with all these other Jesus connections. And connections to the occult is occult equals 74. I didn't even put that in here. I mean... Guys, I, I could put all the 74 connections in post, but I mean, they'd be so freaking long. I mean, you know, occult equals 74, Gematria equals 74, English equals 74, and then all these Jesus connections, as you can see on the screen, 74, you know. I mean, <laughs> he died on, you know, he died on Christmas Eve, because he sent the tweet, and, like, right before it, turn Christmas Eve, like, right before 12 a.m., right? And they say he jumped off the roof and died on, like, early, 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 like, right as Christmas Eve hit. Christmas Eve equals 74. Um, and this stuff is not an accident. This is ritual sacrifice at its finest, literally. Um, unfortunately, as well. Um, but yeah. Um... But I just wanted to make sure you guys know, too, I added that up there, Black Christ equals 74. And, um, just to make the point real quick, uh, you know, these, these, you know, rappers being black and being sacrificed, it's, it's, it's not a coincidence. I mean, you know, I'm starting to think if Jesus is real or was real, um, that he was black. You know, because it's just, it's kind of like, you know, you, you can't say that they're not targeting them. I know there's always been a big stink about it, and I used to not believe that when I was ignorant. But you just, you see this work, and you see, like, how the rappers, how rap has become the biggest, most popular genre of music, and how they sacrifice rappers. I mean so many a year and good ones i mean even good ones like him um good ones like C's, you know it's just like you know they they do i mean they do target them more than any other race so um it's um it, but it's but it's for reasons that i don't fully understand but i will say that you know they do seem to be targeted more than, per se, white people. Um, you know, with these black rappers being sacrificed, <laughs> like, infinitely more. Just saying, I mean, we just did the Mac Miller decode. I, you know, believe he was sacrificed. And you could tie Jesus in with that, um, with his, a little bit. But they don't seem, they don't ever seem to tie in as much as um, with black artists specifically rappers as rapper as rapper as the word rapper equals 74 and jesus equals 74 and you know i could go on for the rest of my days equal you know talking about what all what equals 74 but you know that's just kind of i just thought i'd share that real quick but anyways back to the eco let's stay on track um you know as i said his last tweet reads the end, that equals 106, prophecy equals 106, which this is not, this right here is not actual prophecy. This is their false prophecy that they're telling you is prophecy, okay? This is man doing these things. These are man scripting these things, manipulating these things to happen. And even if these things aren't happening, then, you know, they're, ma they're, making it appear like it is so it fulfills the numerical ritual so 
Um, yeah, I just want to make that clear too. What you know, what what is believed in this world is prophecy. Most times, it's not. It's false prophecy. Um, it's it's man doing what they call prophecy. It's man uh, responsible for what they call prophecy, not actual prophecy, because actual prophecy is from the divine, the universe. Like it just happens organically, um, and this stuff is inorganic right now. Um, as the end equals 106 prophecy, 106 black, 106 black Christ, 106, and you know this to the to the point that should hit home. Um, Pro Era re released their mixtape "Peep the Apocalypse" three days before Steez died, and it said that Christ resurrected on the third day of his death. Do you see how they're doing this now? I don't know if Proera sacrificed him or or what, but I'm just saying I do believe Steez was a sacrifice. And this, you know, at least that's how it appears um, by this obviously scripted numerical ritual. Just saying. And, um, I mean, really, they released their mixtape three days before he died. I mean, come on. How is he not? He doesn't. How is he not going to appear like a sacrifice? You know, three days later he dies. I mean, come on, man. Like, and, you know, Christ resurrects on the third day that of his death. You know, at least that it said. Uh, this stuff is all just sick and synced up and, uh But anyways, to further make this point concrete, you know, in Matthew 1240, Jesus says, For as Jonas was three days and nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be the be three days and three nights in the heart of earth. Uh, notice the heart of earth part, right? Um actually I'll get I'll get to that later actually. I'll get to that later. Um but math this this verse, right? This this line comes from Matthew twelve forty. Matthew twelve forty You'll never guess what it equals, 106. Now, if you cannot tell me that that is just a coincidence, that is organic, no, this is inorganic, this is scripted, this is, this is obviously done by man, okay? This is done by man in a sick way, in a sick, demented way, okay? So... Anyways, this, you know, as I said, this proves that Steez was connected to Jesus Christ by the numbers in which, you know, he was sacrificed by the numbers, you know, that is, if he really did die, um, you know, on the date he said he did, or that, that said he did, that it says. So, um, but now to what I was talking about earlier, the organic side of this decode and Remember, Steez's birthday. Um, you you guys might not know. I don't. I think I mentioned it up here, but um, actually, I didn't. So that's all right. But um, Steez's birthday. Okay, let's go down here. Steez's birthday is on July seventh, which is written seven slash seven. Christ equals seven seventy seven. Okay. Just like sacrifice does, sacrificed equals 77. He committed suicide by jumping off the cinematic music group's building. And the term cinematic equals 77. Okay, if you take a cube and open it up till it's two-dimensional, it creates a cross. Okay, cube equals 77. Steve was born the same year that the World Trade Center bombing occurred which was in 1993, and World Trade Center equals 77. And, you know, there's some things that, there's some things that I'm going to get to a little later that I f about that, with his connection to the World Trade Center bombing, that honestly, I don't, I'm not, I'm on the fence, like, is that organic, or some of it seems, some of it's, it's like it's telling me that it's scripted, 
like it was on purpose. Like maybe they lied about his birthday on, or I don't know, or maybe he, I don't know, maybe it is organic. He was born for that to be synced up. Is what I don't know. I don't understand it. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't quite understand this. Um, what I'm gonna get to with the 131 connections, but um, but it's so far we're in the organic. But anyways, um, you know. He was born in nineteen in nineteen ninety three, the same year the World Trade Center bombing occurred. Uh, I'm voice cracking. Shoot, but anyways, World Trade Center equals seventy seven. World Trade Centers, um, they're in New New York as we know, and that's the biggest city in the United States. And United States equals seventy seven. And um. And, the, and just to make another point about the United States and 77 connecting the Stees and all these other things, um, you know, he was, he made now, he made a, uh, I guess a mixed, yeah, I think it was called a mixtape called American Corruption, you know, with three Ks. And he, you know, he was just big into exposing, um, America's corruption. I mean, as it says, um, and, you know, just the bullshit, you know. And I just kind of find that funny how United States and his birthday written out 7-7, seven, seven, United States equals 77 syncs up because it's like he was, he was, um, he's kind of like trying to be their hero, you know, America's hero, like, not, he, well, I'm not going to say he was trying to be, but it's almost like he was, you know, just exposing it, you know, America's corruption. Um, just, you know, the bullshit that goes on, and he just wanted to bring light to that, and that's, you know, well, why he got sacrificed, but, you know, so, but, um, yeah, I just find that interesting, um, but I do think, you know, that's organic, and and maybe it's not, you know, I, I just, I just can't, See, if it's not organic, I just can't think of how it's not, like, the only explanation I could have it to be, could think of to be it, this stuff that I just went over so far, um, this organic stuff as I call it, natural stuff, um, the only way I could see it not being so is if, like, they lied about his birthday or something, you know, so I could just be getting screwed up there, or, um, or, you know, that's not really his birthday, or, you know, he was, like, born and bred somehow, uh, on that date to fulfill this ritual, um, I guess, I mean, that would be inorganic if so, but, you know, um, you, you know, you, you never know, but, I'm going to call this stuff still organic because I can't, it, it doesn't have enough concrete connection. There's not enough concrete connections so far uh, to prove otherwise. But um, yeah, so Steve was known for speaking truth, you know, and exposing American corruption um, and just corruption in general, just bullshit in the world, you know, and, you know, speaking on a lot of topics like spirituality, um, and just a lot of stuff relating to that, like sacred geometry and just, you know, real shit, you know, and, um, I noted how you could say that he exposed the matrix as, you know, it's kind of like a term, like this system, like he was exposing the system, the matrix, right? or the simulation, as I think, you know, this stuff is, like, this system is just, like, so perfectly designed to trap people, enslave people, and that's what we, that's what's called the Matrix after the movie, you know, um, or, as I know it, a simulation, but anyways, Matrix equals 77, just like, you know, it's, it's connecting to all these others, um, other 77 connections, and, um, I just, that's pretty wild, too, 
you know, and keep in mind all these 77 connections, right? And he was born on 7-7. Seven seven. I mean, that's just wild to me. But, um... But, yeah. But back to Pro Era releasing their mixtape three days before Steez died. <laughs> you know, Christ resurrected on the third day of being dead. But, again, in Matthew says... In Matthew 1240... Um, it says, for as Jonas was three nights and three days in the whale's belly, so the Son of Man shall be there for three days, three nights in the heart of the earth. Notice that last part, heart of the earth, heart of the earth equals 77. Just to add on, I, I couldn't find a whole lot of concrete connections to the Jesuits on this one, but I will note, I will note this. Okay, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? Um, that Progressive Era, which is Pro Era, right? Pro Era. Um, the Pro uh, stands for Progressive, Progressive Era, right? Progressive Era does equal 201 and 84. Just like the Jesuit Order. And actually, and 177, doesn't it? Yeah. And 177. So, uh. Yeah. And that's crazy. And then also, they got the 78 in the most pure cipher, which Jesuit equals 78. Um. <coughs> I sneezed, okay. Oh. But yeah, I mean, that's just. One observation I made, and a lot of people, I, you know, watching this might have heard rumors about, um, did Joey Badass sacrifice him? Um, you know, I, I don't know, and, uh, you know, I'm not gonna pretend like I do, I, I don't know, but, um, I'm, I'm not ruling that out, it's just, it just seems to me, you know, um, that Pro Era definitely was a pawn on the chessboard for, um, you know, whoever. But ultimately, all these secret societies go back to the Jesuits. Here's where I was talking about earlier. I'm not sure if this is... It's really up, like I'm on the fence. It's up for debate, I guess, like... I'm on the fence about it. It's could you could say inorganic or organic or prophetic. Like like it seems like like some of it seems like it was planned, like it was scripted out. But then again it's like such a big event that happened. Why would they it's like why would they sync this up with a with a rap like a guy, you know, a rapper, an artist? Like his birthday, his birthday. If that is his real birthday, like how, how could this be? You know, I, like some of it seems like it just organic. Like this is just the universe, um, syncing this up on its own, you know, just, just that's how it is. Like divine, uh, this is a divine connection, not a, not a man made, inorganic connection or ritual but um i guess that's up for debate but anyways um from the day of the world trade center bombing in 93 to steez's birth date is a span of 131 days and the term world trade center bombing keep in mind you know this event and his birth, or, you know, in the same year, right, 93, which I'll get to in a minute, um, but yeah, from that event to Caesar's birthday, 131 days, World Trade Center bombing equals 131, this happened in Manhattan, New York, and Manhattan, NY, New, you know, stands for New York, equals 131, Caesar's death was, you know, as Jesus was a Jesus 
ritual, um, a Christ ritual sacrifice, crucifixion equals 131, you know, and, and that right, that right there, I'm just like, how, it's like, that's, that's what makes me think like, okay, how can that, it's and maybe it's just me being like in all that it is prophetic or it is um organic i should say it's like like that's it's like that's how it what i'm saying is like that's by organic what i mean is like that's how it was destined to be you know just how it is just like that and it's like whoa um that's pretty wild and, I mean, and that further connect, you know, further, more concretely connects is, you know, Jesus' ritual sacrifice connection. Um, but, um, and again, back to the three stakes thing, you know, said that three nails are stakes, you could say, you could say three stakes, because they're, you know, big, were used to crucify Jesus, and the term three stakes also equals 131. And it's like, wow, man. Like, well, here's here's the thing. It's like, it's like I I can't I just can't I'm trying to think like I can't make a I I can't think of any thing to like argue that this was a ritual like. Like, I don't know. Like, it's weird that... It's weird that that all syncs up with the world, you know, his birth date and the World Trade Center bombing. It's, it's very interesting. And, um... You know, I see that as organic, really, but only because I can't prove otherwise and i'm trying you know I'm, I'm trying to like as i'm reading like i'm trying to think how i can but i just can't at the moment um but if i can i guess i'll make another update video or something but um it seems like you know his life was connected to this infamous event organically as i stated you know um but there are more seemingly organic connections, as Steve's, like I said, was born in 93, and, or 1993, I should say, same year as the World Trade Center bombing occurred, and he committed suicide by jumping off the building owned by the Cinematic Music Group. Cinematic Music Group equals 93, guys. He was born in 93. I mean, it's like, whoa, man. Crucifix and Nazareth. Nazareth, Jesus's uh, home, hometown, or known as his hometown, Crucifix and Nazareth both equal 93, and he was known for being very conscious, very, very conscious, and I just noticed how Christ conscious, now this could be a little stretch, I guess, but Christ conscious also equals 93, and not to mention that, you know, in the Jesuit logo, you got the sun, um, with the sun rays, because Christ, or Jesus, the Son of Man, is really symbolism. It's it's symbolic of the, the one way to interpret it, at least, is the sun of the sky, right? Could symbolize the sun of in the sky, right? And that's why the, I didn't include this, but the term sunny equals 93. They say the sun is 93 million miles away, right? Um, something, oh yeah, and Adam, Adam lived to be 930 years old, rules in numerology, cut that zero out, 93 again, um, and one, hold on, let me check something, I think I missed one thing, I think I missed one connection that I need to add, okay, Look at this. Look at this. Triclavianism 
equals 93, and I need to add this to this post. Triclavianism equals 93, and Triclavianism is the belief that Jesus was crucified with three nails, right? You know, he was crucified with three nails. That's the belief. It's called Triclavianism. Uh, it's like, that equals 93 too? And he was born in 93? Could the, I mean, really. You, look. And I mean, you know, it's almost like there's so much things that I've decoded here that connect, that I call organic connections, that it almost seems like legit. <laughs> Damn, is like he Christ? <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, it's either like he was literally like, like, I don't know how they would do it, but like, maybe he was inorganically born on this certain date to fulfill these numerical rituals, but that's such a stretch, and I can't explain that. That's just such a stretch beyond my comprehension. I, I, but it's, I mean, anything's possible, but that's just the thought, or, or I mean, like I'm saying, like I'm, you know, is more reasonable, you know, what I believe until proven otherwise is that, you know, all that I've read and said that it is organic here is just organic, it's just happened because it was destined to by the universe, you know, by all that exists. Um, and that's, that's all I got to say about that. Um, here's the gematria. Uh, I got to add that tri, that triclavianism equals 93 as well. So I'll definitely do that. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please share this. It's like, it's like, it's just got me thinking, like, how can... I've, look, I don't think I've ever decoded someone, someone's death, birth, I mean, his death and birth connects to Jesus Christ, like his whole, his life, from life, life, his, I mean, excuse me, his birth and death are both connected to Christ, I've never seen a bigger, I mean, I don't really, I mean, I've just never seen a bigger Christ, Jesus Christ, ritual sacrifice, but I've never seen this much of an organic side to someone, to this decode, like, I've never seen that, and I found all this and added it, I just knew I had to add all this, and honest, honestly, there's, I know there's a few more things I could add, but some of them seem like stretches, and I just didn't want to put them in here. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the bulk of it, definitely. I mean, this is, like, insane to think about. And, you know, a lot of this I, I cannot explain. But I can just decode and try to interpret. And, um, it's, it's wild. But, um... Yeah, it just seems to me like he was really, I mean, yeah, his death was an obvious scripted ritual sacrifice, but it's like the way his birth connects to Christ and the event of the World Trade Center bombing, that, those two connections are like, wow, those two connections are wild. Because it's just, it's seemingly organic. You know, it seems, or I should say it seems organic. But, um, you know, those are just my thoughts on it. Um, you know, I, um, I would appreciate if you guys hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more, you know, content. Uh, more decodes, because that's about all I do, um, from time to time, and, uh, share this with people, definitely, share, wake the people up, um, you know, uh, 
especially the, the obviously scripted deaths and events that go on in this world, in this crazy, crazy world. Definitely share that knowledge, this knowledge, Gematria, and these decodes, Zachary K. Hubbard's decodes, Gematria Effect News 22's decodes. Share that channel. Tell them to subscribe. Just share all that good stuff. Share all that good info with everyone you know. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.